What is up everybody? If you that don't know me, my name is Chris, aka Mr. Grow It, and today I've got a part test video for you. This is the ROI E680 LED grow light. I actually did an unboxing video on my main channel. I'll link that in the description section below. Uh, in this video, I'm just gonna do the PAR measurements. So I'm not gonna be talking about any of the features or anything like that. Uh, the meter I'm using is the Apogee MQ500. Uh, this measures just a certain range. It measures from uh, 389 nanometers to 692 nanometers, uh, plus or minus five nanometers. Uh, so if any light is being emitted from this grow light outside of that range, it, it will not be shown. Uh, according to the listing for this light, it emits 1700 micromoles per second PPF. Uh, this meter is gonna measure in PPFD, so it's a spot check. Uh, if you're not sure what I mean by PPF or PPFD, you may want to read my buyer's guide on LED grow lights. I explain what those are in that article as well as some other good information that is good to know when uh, searching for an LED grow light. I'll link that buyer's guide in the description section below. So for this light, I'm going to take four different uh, height measurements. I'm going to start off six inches, which is what it says in the owner's manual. Uh, then I'll go up to eight inches, which is what it says, I believe, on their website. I'll go to 12 inches and then I'll do one that's 24 inches. Uh, this does have a dimmer on it. On the screen, I'll show what percent it is dimmed. Uh, so it starts off at 100%, you can dim it down to 80%, then 60%, then 40%. So uh, keep an eye on the screen and then you'll see what percentage uh, this unit is dimmed down. I'll start off six inches away. This is a two inch sensor, so really the height is six inches from the top of the sensor to the light. I'm really not gonna talk in this video, maybe towards the end. Uh, I'm gonna let the measurements do the talking.
All right, so I will actually be growing with this light and I just wanted to take a few minutes to go over kind of the results and what I'm going to hang the light at for the different stages of growth. So when my plants are in seedling stage or if I'm putting any clones underneath it, I think I'm gonna do 24 inches away, dim down to 40%. Uh, basically the PPFD reading dead center was at 380 and uh, the reading actually in the last, the corner diode when I brought that uh, sensor up all the way into the corner. Uh, right underneath that last diode is kind of where I paused the video and I got a 319 reading on that corner diode. Uh, for seedlings of clones, I usually aim between 200 and 400 PPFD. So that's right there in that range. When I place on the vegetation stage, I think I'm gonna do, I got a couple different measurements here. Not sure which one I'm gonna do. At 24 inches away, 80% dimmed. Dead center comes in at 750 and then uh, that corner diode comes in at 580. Uh, so for, for plants in the vegetation stage, between 400 and 600 PPFD is what I aim for. Um, another uh, height distance that uh, appealed to me was 12 inches away, 40% dimmed down to, dead center came in at 554, and then that corner diode came in at 359 PPFD. So uh, right in the range where I wanna be uh, for vegetation stage, and maybe that 12 inch distance at 40% is for early veg, because the PPFD number is a little bit lower. And then uh, later on in veg, it looks like the 24 inches away, 80% would be kind of better for late in the vegetation stage. When it comes to flowering, I actually have three different distances here that kind of stuck out for me. So I guess for early flower, maybe 12 inches away, 60% dimmed down, dead center came in at 800. The corner diode came in at 600. So usually between 600 and 900 PPFD is what I aim for in flowering. Another distance that stuck out was 24 inches away, 100%. The dead center was 922 and that corner diode was 700. The last one that stuck out for flowering uh, was 12 inches away, 80%. It came in at 1120 PPFD in the dead center and then 750 on that corner diode. Now some of you guys might say uh, 1120, that's a little bit too much for plants of plowering, especially since I just said I like to go for 600 to 900 PPFD. Uh, one way you can get away with running a higher PPFD uh, the one I recommended is running CO2. So I actually do, uh, I have been running CO2, this last grow on my Phenol and Grow series on my Patreon page. Um, I did run those uh, CO2 canisters by TMB Naturals. Uh, and just having an additional 100, 200 PPF, uh, I'm sorry, 100 to 200 PPM of CO2 added to my environment will allow me to run a higher PPFD number. So that's why I figured I'd mention that one. That one stuck out. But that's what I have for measurements, what I think I'm gonna run. Uh, what do you think about these measurements? Let me know in the comment section below. And I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace.